The Ram 9 is becoming one of the better SMGs in the game. So let's see if it's any good in zombies. And while we're testing out our Ram 9 in zombies, we'll also be getting it Borealis, which we actually might be able to do in our first game. So I was taking a dump and scrolling on Twitter today like I normally do. And while I was scrolling, I saw a clip from Newbie Gaming showing that you might actually be able to get Golden Enigma in the same game without having the exfil. And with how buggy zombies has been since the season two update, I wonder if this is actually intentional as some sort of like quality of life change or if that's just a bug. So either way, we're gonna figure out if it still works. And once we finish getting all of our camos, we're gonna go ahead and test this out against a mega abomination tried against all three tiers of zombies and even tested on the storm caller. And while we're in the spirit of testing things, in the last video, I was talking about how PhD got nerfed and it actually just might be bugged because last time I was talking about how it used to save you from hellhound fire damage and that no longer works, but apparently it doesn't even save you from self explosive damage anymore. So let me drink my PhD flopper can and let me nade myself for a little scientific testing. I think I still took damage there. Did I? Actually, I couldn't tell, but we got to get moving on these camos. We need 250 kills. We need 250 kills with frost damage. We need kills shortly after using our field upgrade, and we need to kill 10 disciples. So let's get moving with those. I'm gonna go ahead and use all the perks that I got. Put this to epic rarity and give it pack two. We're gonna have to work our way up to pack three. If this golden enigma thing actually ends up working, this is gonna be a huge time saver because unless you use that glitch in like previous seasons where you could somehow carry more than two guns, it was almost impossible or it was impossible to get more than two weapons golden enigma in a game and not only will it be a huge time saver but a huge resource saver because i spawned in with all my perks and everything and those take three hours to refresh and these pack-a-punch crystals take even longer and our epic aether tool is like what 16 hours or something like that so if we can get all the way up to borealis in one game that'll just streamline the entire process and i've been really liking this method of getting the outlast up to 55 percent stepping out letting it go back down to 54 going back in and it should spawn either a mangler or a disciple every single time we should tear through this disciple challenge easy what happens if i keep stepping in and out i just keep hearing disciples spawn this is sweet this guy's even stuck in the roof idiot oh maybe this was a mistake there's too many elites right now at least this smg's handling itself though oh that's a lot of manglers is that it? Is that all of our disciples? Have we already killed 10? Doesn't look like it. Maybe this is it. There we go. There's our 10 disciples. Cool camo too. Not only did they make this gun pretty decent in like multiplayer, and I think a lot of people have been using it in Warzone too, but they gave it some of the better camos in this game. I think it's got like the best lineup of both multiplayer and zombies camos. I gotta hop into multiplayer and get this thing done there. And I really gotta start using this Aether Shroud more. That's gonna be the camo that's gonna be holding this back. There's our 250 kills. Our frost kills shouldn't be too far behind it. Oh, there it is. We just need one more camo and we can test out our gold strat. Why is it so fucking cloudy in here? Our hot box in the outlast. This has got to be our camo right here. There's no way. Show it to me. All right, game. I see how it is. All right, I'm putting my foot down. This has got to be the last aether shroud we have to use. I even threw a decoy. This better be enough. You're kidding me. I'm being trolled. No! There's no way! Well, so much for saving all of our resources. They should have put checking for update crashes in the season two roadmap. This is sweet. We really just needed five more kills after using our field upgrade. Come on. Well, at least since we crashed before we unlocked the last camo before gold, we can still test out the new gold method. Let's just hope we don't crash again. This should be it right here. Oh, I brain rotted one. Maybe not. Okay, no, we got it. Whew. Let's close. All right now that we finished the event, let's grab our rewards and go straight to the next X fill. Let's go see if this works. Now, normally for the Golden Enigma Challenge, you need to get 100 kills in a single match and then X fill successfully. But in the clip, it just showed them getting kills around an X fill and Golden Enigma actually popped up in game. So I don't think I'm quite at 100 kills for this game. So I'm gonna do a few X fills here and we'll see if it actually pops up. And if it doesn't, and this is some elaborate troll, then we wasted a whole bunch of time and resources. Oh, there it is. It actually does work. That's sick. Now we just need to get our 300 pack-a-punch kills and our 10 special or elite kills after that. That's so nice. I hope that's not a mistake. I hope they keep that in. Because with the lack of content zombies got in this update on top of them just removing the tombstone glitch, 
and PhD not working. We need one win here. We also need to make some money if we want to get Pack-A-Punch 3. So let's try to kill two birds with one stone. And while we're grinding these out, here's my Ram 9 build if you want to copy it. We got enough money for Pack 3 now, but I'm going to do one Tier 2 bounty just so I can get a little extra cash to buy some perks. Oh, what a spawn for it. Is it inside the fortress? That's sweet. Let's see if we can still sneak our way up there without the key card. Do they still got the zip line between these two? Looks like it. Wait, that was the wrong zip line. How do I get to the roof? They really blocked the way to the roof here? Man, they're actually removing everything from this. If only I had the scorcher or a helicopter, I'm gonna have to cancel this contract. All right, now don't spawn in a fortress. Now that's more like it. Now, how's it doing against a tier two disciple? It's kind of cleaning him. He's already at half health. We just got done with our first mag. That's got me hopeful for how this does against the Stormcaller. But he's already dead. That was fast. Give me that useless PhD. All right, tier three, I'm coming. Whoa! I just Tony Hawked off that Hellhound. Little Ollie off the dome. There we go. There's pack three. No wonder Fizz over here. Come on. I guess we can see how this is doing against tier three zombies. That Mangler dead the zombies also dead oh this thing ain't bad what about a fully armored oh i killed it in seconds give me those skulls i'm getting carried away fighting these guys let's go get our perks and find us an abomination we're gonna need jug quick revive and dead shot that's good perfect with 2k to spare oh abomination just the guy i'm looking for why don't we see how this thing does against you Already shooting the laser right off the bat. That's what we like to see. He even get to shoot it, actually. We blew up his head before the laser even came out. He's at almost half health with one mag. This abomination ain't shit. I don't even need armor to fight your bitch ass. Yeah, go ahead. Try to shoot another laser. Stop them again. No lasers coming out at all. We're shutting them down. This is the no-fly zone of lasers. Come on, open your mouth. Let's get this over with. Yeah, there you go. This thing just slaughtered him. He didn't even have a chance. What do we get from that? Some essence. A mortar strike in almost certain death. But I have an idea. I got a turret circuit right here, and we got a turret. So let's throw that in there, and maybe this can produce some skulls for us. This might be actually a really good way to get skulls. Give me all these. Bring on those fully armored zombies. Oh, it'd be perfect if I did an outlast contract right here. Is there one? Oh, it's all the way over there, though. I think it might stop working if I move away. Oh, wait, no. I think somebody started one in here. This is sick. Look at all these skulls. We're racking them up. We went from, like, what? Three, maybe four skulls? All the way up to 20-something now? I'm not seeing any more zombies spawning, though. And I'm not going to go in this guy's outlast and start taking his. But now we have a, a pretty decent method for getting some skulls pretty quick. Just need a nice little turret circuit. Right, I'm going to do one tier three bounty, and then we'll go see if the storm caller is still there. So I'm pretty confident in this gun right now. All right, what are we getting for this bounty? A mega abomination. Perfect. That's just the guy I wanted to see. Come here, pal. Let's settle this. Yeah, shoot that laser. Let's see if we can stop it before it actually comes out again. Nope, the HVT's got a little more health, but we stopped it pretty quick. I'm not happy about it, though. I hate it when he starts charging me like this. Oh, and his buddy's coming in for backup. I'm getting jumped. I'm getting jumped. Holy shit. There we go. Aether Shroud on him. You don't even know where I'm at. Got him to half health already. Oh, I got to throw a decoy. I just got to keep moving. It is too risky. I also need to stay by this building in case one of these guys decides to shoot a laser. Like this guy right here. Holy fuck. That's a lot of zombies. If we can at least take this guy out. It'll despawn a good amount of them, I think. Ooh, or we can just let the laser do the work for us. But now we're completely out of ammo. And now this guy's shooting a laser. Oh, that was a clutch dive. Did they drop any ammo for us, though? Please say they did. Thank you. Oh, he's only got like a, a third of his health left. Perfect. That's another head gone. Just one more. And the horde has thinned, and I think the other mega bomb despawned. He might be in the clear right here. Oh, we got it. We tanked through the entire laser. Woo! That was sweet. Is that a flawless crystal, too? Oh, we're fine. You know what? 
I'll still take it. And the reward for it wasn't that great though. All right, Stormcaller, you're next. Honestly, outside of us losing our stuff for our Rick Grimes operator and all the stuff that I spawned in with last game, it was probably good that we crashed. So we had enough time to go and fight those mega bombs. And we still got 11 minutes to spare before the storm comes in. You still here, pal? There he is. There's our guy. I probably should have grabbed some decoys before this, but it's whatever. We can take out anything. We just gotta get that mask on him broken so we can actually start dealing some real damage. Oh, there's our Zircon skill. Let's go. You can be our first elite kill towards our Serpentine camo. And there's the mask broken. It's actually chunking his health. Let's Aether Shroud here so we can get some uncontested shots on him. Uh, unless he's moving around too much. My aim can't keep up. Oh, shit. We gotta go. We gotta move. Okay, he's putting up a decent fight, but we are just chunking the shit out of his health. We just got to really pay attention to when he's going to heal. So we got to keep at least some ammo in the mag and not play too close to him. Because he always seems to catch me when I'm reloading. And I'm out of ammo. Shit. This is the perfect time for him to get his health back. Let's hope he don't realize it. Oh, he do. Got to stop him though. Okay, that wasn't too bad. He didn't get that much health back. My gas mask is broken though, so we need to finish this. Come on. One more shot. Actually, a few more. There we go. Dead. Gone. Sleep. This thing tears. That's a good ass weapon. Oh, I'm going to die to the storm. Let me get a skull and let's get out of here. We still got seven minutes left in this game. Let's head back to tier three. I got to buy me a new gas mask and we got some elites to kill. Well, if there's going to be an abomination right here, we might as well take them out. We can get our Serpentonite camo in style. Only taking out high value elites. I guess he's technically not a HVT, but still better than killing some manglers on an exfil. And this should be it for him. Later, dude. It's just too easy. This thing is a slayer. Let's grab that gas mask. Let's sell that skull. Buy another self revive for fun. And let's get some cashmere. Why not? A little bit of a shopping spree. All right, what's our next tier three bounty going to be? Oh, a mimic. Should be easy enough. Oh, but this abomination wants to get in the way. Fine, dude. It's your funeral. There you go. And this should be the end of them right here. Let's go. All right. Now we're coming, Mimic. Oh, Mimic. Where are you? Oh, there he is. Oh, he's aggressive. He's a feisty one. He's actually tanking damage better than the Abomination, I think. Are Abominations bitch made? Oh, Disciple, you dumbass. Walked right in front of me to get brain rotted. Oh, and the Abomination wanted to come and join us anyways. He want to be left out of the fun. Oh, shit. I'm going down. Let me grab that extra self-revive. There we go. Mimic dead. Abomination's about to be too. Let's get this. Use this. We'll stow this over the monkey bomb. Now you're extra fucked. We got the ammo mod for you. And that's another mega abomination down. Was that like five now? I just can't help myself. I guess you can get some too, Mangler. There you go. Is that enough for our serpent tonight? We gotta be like one or two away. Oh, and the Mimic came to help us out. Thanks, dude. All the elites are just coming to find me. I have not moved. Another Mimic, two Mimics, and a Disciple. We gotta have the camo now. They just came and delivered it to me. Maybe not. Did the Mega Bombs not count? Well, shit. I guess I'll try to take out what I can while we're moving towards where the final x is gonna be. Because the storm is approaching fast. Maybe this Mimic will save the day? Give me Serpent tonight? Please? No? And what do I gotta do? I guess there was no avoiding it. No matter what, we are gonna have to get our elite kills out of next, Phil. It's one of the three guarantees in life. Death, taxes, and getting Serpent tonight out of next, Phil. There it is. Perfect. Just in time. So now for the first time ever in this game, I've gotten Golden Ivory, Zircon Scale, Serpent tonight, and Borealis all in the same game. And I really hope they don't make any changes to that. And we made it out. A very productive game. With a lot of good loot, too. Look at this. Golden Enigma, Zircon Scale, and Serpent tonight, all for the same gun in the same game. Can't get any better than that. Well, this is what our Ram 9 looks like with Borealis on it, and it is just a beautiful gun. This is way better than I thought it was going to be. It actually might be one of the better guns in the game. I think I might make this into one of my go-to weapons. Like, I, I can see myself using this over the swarms. It's just so satisfying to use. It's just like a, a really good gun. I like it a lot. And with how much fun I was having with that gun, I almost forgot that we got no new content in Zombies. This 
despite that, I'm going to still play this mode until I feel like I get bored of it. We're still going to get some new things at mid-season. Uh, they might have some more stuff coming in later seasons. We're only in season two right now, so maybe they just backlog some zombie stuff for later. I'm trying to stay hopeful for the mode, but they're not making it easy. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I will see you in the next one. Later.